this one could get ugly. Rob, what do you make of the Clippers and Ty Lue? I love this move 100%. Oh, of course you do. I do. First of all, the Lakers totally mishandled this. Ty Lue is a former Laker, a pedigree with a championship and had success with LeBron. It was just about dollars. They offered him a measly three-year contract for a guy who's won a championship. And, and LeBron is in his final three years, roughly, so you don't want to waste time with him getting adjusted to some other coach who's never won, never been there, never done that. It was a perfect layup for them. And I don't, I don't blame Ty Lue for not taking this offer. Uh, Luke Walton just got a five-year deal in Sacramento coming off three straight years of not making the playoffs, and he got five years, but the Lakers didn't want to pay him. And I love what the Clippers have done. This is not just some rub it in your face. This is a guy who's uh, been up close and personal against LeBron James, who's going to be a rival in the Western Conference, going to be the difference between the Lakers and Clippers. Maybe this little edge can help them. Mm. Also, uh, he's been on, as you mentioned earlier, he's been on uh, Doc Rivers' staff before. So they're comfortable with each other. You've got a championship caliber, top assistant to go with the head coach who's won a championship in Doc Rivers. I love everything about it. I think it makes total sense. And I think the Lakers will rue the day that they passed over Ty (laughs) Lue because Ty Lue, to me, made 100% uh, sense of being the Lakers head coach. Yeah, I don't mind this at all. And I don't think it's a troll job by the Clippers, not not even in in a little little bit because – Again, as you mentioned, like he's been on Doc Rivers' staff when in Boston and with the Clippers before even joining the Cleveland Cavaliers and taking that head coach job. One thing I do like about it and why I think it was a great hire is because you do have a guy who's been with LeBron James, who understands what makes him tick, who understands how he practices, how he's going to approach the games. How he and- doesn't play defense. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not going that far. And how he can then now inform elite players as like Paul George and Kawhi Leonard of how they can attack this guy and what his what he's going to present as problematic for them. Like this isn't a hire as if he hasn't been proven to where he's had a, a track record of losing and underperforming. He's had success at, at the head coach level as an assistant coach. He's in highly re- high regard in the National Basketball Association. So you can't slight it and say it's just a slap in the face to the Lakers. No, this is a great hire. It probably has a lot to do with the fact that what he provides is a lot of intel regarding a guy that they're going to face in the Western Conference all the way through, probably in the final. And, oh, and, and some finals. people said, hey, wait a minute. Why would he take that job? That's beneath him. He's a, he was a head coach. He won a championship. At some point, you got to get back out there, mm-hmm. right? People forget about you. You stay on the sidelines too long. Number two, what happens to guys who are on winning teams and winning – they, they, get, get, they get other they opportunities. They get other opportunities. And if he could be on this team, say, and the Clippers win the championship, which I believe they will, they win the championship when you look at Ty Lue totally different and be like he was on Doc's staff. Oh. And we, we want to give him an opportunity to be our head coach. That's, I think it's a smart move. That's incredible. The same way LeBron carried Ty Lue to a title and got him a look with the Lakers. Maybe Kawhi can help Ty Lue get another job. Guys, you're way wrong on this. I'm sorry. So besides the Lakers and Cavs, there were four other NBA head coach openings this, this summer. How many of them called Ty Lue? Because he's such a great coach and he's got a championship. How many of them called him? Zero. Nobody called Ty Lue. Not in demand in the least. The Suns, Memphis. These are not even good franchises. Name the, name the guys that they hired. Yeah, oh, I'll give are... you them. Taylor Jenkins. Somebody okay. named Taylor Jenkins. Yeah, I'm Luke glad Walton to, to yeah. the Kings. Luke Walton couldn't win jack squat. Yeah, the because they don't want to. Those and he got a head coaching job with the But Kings. they don't want to pay just because they hired him as head coach. Monty they, Williams. They don't have coach. to pay those yes. guys then, a lot of money. And then Monty's Saunders good. in Minnesota. Guys, you're way wrong on here. Uh, uh, Ty Lue, a very nice man. I got to be careful what I say. A lot of the Clippers and Lakers work out at my gym and my uh, Stop all that. Uh, just basketball. Give uh, your real opinion. And I see a lot of these guys there. The real opinion is this is not a great hire. This is poking the bear. This is the Clippers trying to be relevant. Hey, hey, look at us. We're trolling. We're trolling the Lakers. We stole Kawhi from LeBron. They tried to get him. Now we're going to steal Ty Lue, LeBron's guy, as head coach. 
uh uh-uh. The Lakers didn't totally botch Ty Lue. Uh, I think they messed it up, and you know why. Because they told Ty, we're not only going to lowball you, but we're going to pick your assistant coaches. So you, Ty so, Lue said, So you're nah, all nah, in nah. on Frank Vogel, right? I'm not I'm all in on Frank Vogel. Can you Vogel. tell me about the parade Frank Vogel had? Where was that? Oh, uh, Frank Vogel had a parade? <laughs> no, I was I'm, I'm asking. That. What, Ty Lue had uh, a parade? Yeah, he did. Oh, he did? Why? Because yeah, LeBron got him a title? Because Stop. Cleveland won a championship Stop. for the Please. first time in 52 years. No, give me a break. That had nothing to do with Ty Lue. Stop it. Not a darn thing. You can't thing. do it that way. You know why? Yeah, you Wait, no, hold you on. No, you gave Kyrie no. Irving the credit for hitting the game-winning shot. No, but and you, you gave LeBron no credit. No, but you yeah, can't do it. A couple days ago on this show, Molly, you know it. My thing is you can't do it that way. If if a guy is a coach and they don't win, he gets blamed. If he's the coach, you got to give him some credit. I I don't have to say it's 100% of the credit, but Ty Lee was the coach of that. Everybody doesn't win even when they have talent. So I'm sorry. Okay, how about I've this? seen guys with good talent not win what's, anything. What's the name of the Miami Heat basketball coach? Who, Eric Spolstra? Yeah, Eric Spolstra. He was a video coordinator, wins a bunch of titles with LeBron. I'm not bashing Spolstra. Yes, you what are. Has, wait, wait, what I didn't even say it. I didn't make my point. What has he done since LeBron left? That's what I thought. I, guys, I'm just saying, LeBron is such a generational talent, as a phrase of the show, that it's so tough to say how good of a coach Lou is. He, LeBron was incredible and transcendent in Miami with Wade and Boston. LeBron Boss. lost six championships. We don't but know how worked. good Spolstra is. It, we don't know how good Ty Lue is. The, to say this is a great hire is preposterous. The reason why you can say he was a great coach with LeBron and you can because he made it work. Like, it, it's, it's no different. You just said you compared Aaron Rodgers to LeBron James. It's not solely on Aaron Rodgers It's more on Matt LaFleur to conform and to make it work because we know what Aaron Rodgers is going to provide on the football field. We know what LeBron James is going to provide. You said something that just jumped out to me. This is trying the Clippers trying to be make themselves relevant. Yeah. What? This is this was a playoff team before Kawhi. Thank you. Before Paul. Before all these acquisitions. Wait, the Clippers are relevant before this? They were relevant, and we none of us up here after losing Tobias Harris thought that they were gonna even make the playoffs. And they made the playoffs. And they made the playoffs. And they went to Golden State. With a healthy Durant, yes. and won two playoff Woo-hoo! games. Woo! That no. makes them relevant. Two playoff yes. games against the it, Warriors it, with no stars. It I mean, tells I, it you was how impressive, good they but are. relevant. Yes. If it, that's the bar for relevancy, like you guys need to raise the bar. Made the, they made the playoffs, and I'm a LeBron I was guy. Great but job, the Lakers didn't make the playoffs. Thank you, and Greg. Well, the, the when LeBron it came wasn't there, when it came time, Paul George, who didn't want to come to the Lakers a year ago, wanted to come to the Clippers, and Kawhi Leonard, the biggest prize in free agency decided I'm going to the Clippers. It was laid up for him to go to the Lakers, have less work, less of a workload. He didn't have to take a discount money-wise. And he had Anthony Davis. It was laid out for him, and he still chose to go to the Clippers. Do not poo-poo what they have going with the Clippers. They do. They have something going, finally. They finally have relevancy because they need it. They're desperate in a town where the Rams just went to the Super Bowl. The LA Kings are good all the time. A couple good soccer teams here. The Lakers have LeBron. The Clippers are desperate to be relevant in L.A., to crowbar their way into the market. That's why they're doing stuff like, let's get Ty Lue. People are going to talk about it on shows like this. If they go out and hide Joe that's Smith what, to be an assistant coach. Uh, Rob, you, you mentioned it. something about coaches staying out too long and, and not being relevant and then being forgotten about. This is I give Ty, Ty Lue a lot of credit for saying, getting off the coaching high horse and just thinking, the only job that is for me is a head coaching job. Yep. That's the problem with a do. lot of head coaches. They they think they're just only a head coach, and so they're not going to come down and become assistant coach any longer. This is a great opportunity for Ty Lue to stay with a guy, to get back with the guy that he had already been with in Doc Rivers on his staff. He understands how he operates. Doc Rivers know what he provides. It is a great fit, and now you all of us – it just – so happened you coached the the best player in the NBA in LeBron James, and you can inform Ka- Kawhi Leonard, these defensive-minded guys, Kawhi two-way players, Paul the- George, all these on how he goes about his work year in year. I, d- I, I totally like him. Bad. That, that's it's so invaluable. overblown. Hold on, no, hold it's on. Not. Kawhi Leonard beat LeBron head to head in the finals. Paul George got stomped out by LeBron twice in the Eastern Conference Finals back when he was winning with Indiana. I don't know what Ty Lue's going to bring to the table about LeBron that the Clippers don't already know. Doc Rivers has been facing LeBron in the East for many years when he was with the Celtics. 
I just think this is overblown. And but I don't want to bash Ty Lue. It's just... different when you when you practice with it versus it's different from playing against an opponent and actually seeing how they work every single day and have and make and building and strategically trying to defend them in practice and set up plays for them where they like the ball how they it's completely different when you're practicing with someone versus them being an opponent and watching the film and, and greg your point is is excellent from this standpoint jason it's the same difference between scouting a team from the outside and a player who was just in that yes. locker room Comes in, Greg, and gives you, am I right? All the intel. All the all intel that went on behind the scenes. You can scout all day. It ain't the same. Yes. I, told, I totally agree. Well, they should have. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.